On December 10th of 2022, it was a quiet day at one of the world's tallest volcanoes with an eruption during recorded history, the Lascar Volcano in Chile. Standing at more than 18,000 feet in elevation and containing five summit craters, there is very little oxygen at its summit when compared to sea level. However, this period of quiet would suddenly change just after 12.30 a.m. local time, as the volcano unexpectedly erupted quite explosively, sending a plume of ash quickly to a height of 6,000 meters or 19,700 feet above the crater rim. Due to sheer luck, no one was seriously harmed by the unexpected explosive eruption which took place due in part to the volcano's remoteness. However, as seen by other disasters related to unexpected volcanic eruptions like Galeris in 1993, Antaki in 2014, and White Island in 2019, this story could have ended quite differently. Before I explain why this eruption occurred, I am going to lead with my opinion. Traveling in close proximity of a potentially active or active volcano, no matter how dormant it may appear, is not always 100% safe. Yet, there are a select group of volcanoes which can and have erupted with either little or no warning whatsoever. These volcanoes generally but do not always fall into a loosely defined group of either a, a volcano with a prominent summit crater lake that is highly acidic, with abundant and relatively persistent degassing, or b, a volcano with at least two volcanic eruptions during the last century, which has partially or completely consisted of phreatic, or phreatomagmatic eruptions, which occur with little or no warning signs beforehand, or a volcano in both categories A and B. Volcanoes which fall into one or both of the aforementioned two categories are, in my opinion, too dangerous to visit except from a great distance of several kilometers for any reason. Lascar is sadly one such volcano as shown by its latest eruption. So, why did this eruption occur and why was it so unexpected? Simply put, Lascar's December 10, 2022 eruption was most likely a phreatic eruption which included some class of magma, making it phreatomagmatic. Phreatic eruptions occur when magma heats overlying groundwater, causing it to flash to steam. Since the same mass of steam takes up more volume than the water it once was, it causes an immense amount of pressure to build. Eventually, this pressure is released via a path of least resistance which just happens to almost always be upwards during a volcanic eruption. In this case, the explosion also likely traveled downwards somewhat, causing class of magma to also be ejected. Since groundwater is somewhat abundant on the majority of the planet, and water can be heated adjacent to or on volcanoes via either a fast or very slow and steady lawn process, it is sometimes not possible to predict a phreatic eruption. As a whole, if the process occurs in a slow but steady manner, any signal suggesting that there is a danger might get lost due to their low magnitude being indifferentiable from background noise recorded with scientific equipment on a volcano. Whereas magmatic eruptions often are preceded by an increase in earthquakes, ground deformation, and an increase in fumarole temperatures, the same cannot be said of phreatic eruptions. Due to Lascar's eruption, the volcano's alert level was raised to yellow, and per a statement posted by Onemi on December 10th, a 5km exclusion zone was implemented around the volcano. However, this exclusion zone could further expand in the upcoming days, as it is theoretically possible that more eruptions will occur. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to give a special thanks to Elisa T for increasing their tier on this channel's Patreon page.